All right, some of you have been asking about gradients, so today we're going to go over a shader that does that and a lot more. Start with a sphere, box, whatever shape you'd like to test on. You can make multiple if you'd like, and then open up Hypershade. In Hypershade, I want you to search for the ramp shader. Now a ramp shader starts with a very basic diffuse-like color interface, but if you click, you get an extra node. So you could choose whatever color you wanted. Maybe we'll do like red for this side, and more a blue for this by clicking that sphere, going to the selected color. Of course for me, it opened up underneath and hitting done. Now I can move these around. I could even switch them if I wanted. I could click anywhere and get an extra color in the middle to adjust that gradient. And of course, I could select a new color. Or if I decided I didn't like that, I could delete it. Could even put this in the middle to get a little more red and a little more blue. Kind of like that so far. But you guys know I'm not always the biggest red fan in design. But then we have transparency. And not only can this be done to make it transparent, working on a grayscale type issue, where do 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 you move. where your blacks are going to be visible and it will become more transparent the more towards white you go. But we could also do this as a gradient. So let's say we wanted our first one to stay black. But we want to add an extra node down here. And we want to make that one white. And now we have a gradient that goes from being 100% visible to becoming invisible, or as, as you guys know, opaque to transparent. Incandescence will make it look like it's lit from the center. So we could do the same thing. We could click on this, and we could select almost any color that we want it to look like it's glowing from inside. But that's not all. We could add maps, colors, really get into this. Adjust the specular shading. Decide kind of how shiny we want it. And the option I know a lot of you will really like is besides all of these options, which you have time to play with on your own time, go to special effects, we actually have a glow. Now this won't be visible initially, but it spe sets a specular glow and just a glow intensity on the overall shape. You could also go to matte opacity, switch through those options. You have all your ray trace options, the ability to add more refractions. But for right now, help if I actually put the texture on. Let's put that texture on and then render it. Sorry, that was the last demo. And then you'll see I'm getting a ball with a little bit of glow. If I wanted, I could make that even brighter by adjusting those numbers. So if I went back to Hypershade, I could go back to my glow option and really just honestly go nuts with it. So maybe instead of a 0 0.3, I'll bump both of these up. And what you'll see is something that will probably go, glow so bright that the center won't even be visible. We're starting to get there. Once again, this kind of depends on the size of your shape, or at least the size that you've done everything else. And have fun. Hope you enjoy the ramp shader.